Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to be able to address you at the 29th Congress of the Confédération Internationale des Banques Populaires. I regret being unable to join you in person. I know your discussions and deliberations, though, will bear much fruit in moving forward the effective integration of the cooperative model into the broader vision of inclusive development for all. So, ladies and gentlemen, at the United Nations, we firmly believe in the real and potential contribution of the cooperative model in achieving broader social and economic goals. Popular and cooperative banks, in particular, are increasingly recognized for their undeniable role in promoting financial inclusion and the principles of shared economy. In the outcome document of the Third International Conference on Financing for Development, the Addis Ababa Action Agenda, the four A's, adopted in July of this year, well, member states of the United Nations highlighted the role of cooperatives and cooperative and popular financial institutions. They agreed to support microfinance institutions, development banks, agricultural banks, mobile network operators, agent networks, cooperatives, postal banks, and savings banks as appropriate. Member states also acknowledge that national development banks, credit unions, and other domestic financial institutions can play a vital role in providing access to financial services. So the newly adopted 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development also acknowledges the creativity of cooperatives and other forms of enterprise and the vital role they'll play in the implementation of the new agenda in both developed and developing countries. In the Division for Social Policy and Development in the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs that I have the honor to lead, we are working to strengthen the um, availability of the evidence that is needed to help guide and advise member states in helping cooperatives to realize their full potential. According to our Global Census on Cooperatives, which was conducted in 2013-14, there are more than 212 million cooperative banks across the globe with over 704 million members and more than 2 million employees. And these numbers illustrate the power of cooperative banks to facilitate socio-economic transformation by addressing the need for inclusive finance. The evidence of the economic resilience of the cooperative financial institutions is also promising. During times of economic and financial crisis, cooperative banks have demonstrated resilience in comparison to many corporate banks. And this show of strength puts cooperative banks in good position to make outstanding contributions to building stable and prosperous economies and societies around the world. Cooperative banks have also played a critical role in serving underserved population groups in developed and developing countries alike. And this makes them instrumental in supporting poverty eradication efforts, building resilient communities and inclusive societies. A recent report of the Secretary General to the United Nations General Assembly highlighted the Kenyan case, for instance, of the 184 licensed savings and credit cooperatives in that country, 73 or 40%, are run by farmers and located in rural areas that lack financial services. These farmer-run cooperatives have 1.5 million members, representing 50% of all members of financial cooperatives and 1.4 million members, or 92%, have secured loans. Recent research in Brazil has also pointed not only to contributions of cooperatives banks to financial inclusion, but to the self-sustainability of the sector. These combined truths, when coupled with the overall attention to reducing social and economic inequalities in the Brazilian landscape, have the potential for birthing innovative intersectoral approaches to promoting inclusive development, 
with the cooperative institutions playing a core role. I will leave you with this thought. As the international community moves forward post-2015 to promote inclusive development and share prosperity, the role of cooperative financial institutions in the implementation of global goals can be even more clearly defined. Let us work together to ensure that your people-centered approach to doing business does the greatest good that it can. I wish you a successful Congress and look forward to the outcomes.